is so bad, just, just so bad. When the zompocalypse happened, zombie apocalypse, that's what they call it. When it happened, boy, it was the worst for us. Turning our weak into the undead, turning brother against brother, started small but grew like a virus, like a curse. That's why we're here. We're the last of humanity. I had to kill my neighbor when he came after me. Thought he was just checking his mail. But then he slowly turned with that glassy look in his eyes. He was a good guy before all this. Let me use barbecue pit. Still got that thing. Life has gotten so bad. You think you got it bad? First world problems, man. This is a zombie therapy group. You think you got problems? I had like three dogs, man. Fun loving little scamps. Always full of love. Now they're just full of maggots. Zombie pups are no joking matter. They, they were my best friends and I had to put them down. Bad dog. Killing animals? <laughs> Must be nice where you live. First world problems, am I right? I had to kill all my actual friends. We were having an intervention. Apparently they couldn't handle my drinking problem. Turns out the alcohol was the only thing killing the zombie virus when it broke out during the intervention. Had to kill my closest friends with my beer. What a buzzkill. Yeah, that was his name. Buzz. I literally killed Buzz. Party pooper. Oh, you had to kill your friends? What a tragedy. Yeah, right. It was my birthday, at my party, surrounded by family. Cousins, aunts, uncles, grandparents, everybody with little hats and party favors. I had to kill them with the gifts. The gift that keeps on giving. Until they're dead. They're always dead. They're zombies. I mean, it makes no sense, since they're already dead. By definition, if it's dead, then it can't actually move, or do anything. The fact that they move means they aren't dead. Undead, really? Dead on arrival. Must have been nice, all you getting to kill fellow humans. Or a couple of crazed dogs in your case. I was at the damn zoo when it happened. It's a zoo in here. Those chimpanzees were going nuts. Dolphins beating the class. Penguins dive bombing all over the place. Camels kept falling over. Camels don't make very good zombies. The sloths were moving twice as fast. Which is still pretty slow, but scary all the same. That doesn't actually outdo any of ours. So, that's where I was, the damn zoo. We had, like, a progression going here. One story topping the other. Like a pile of zombies. Zompile. You can't just put zom together with other words to make new words, bud. Apocalypse rules, as in we make up our own rules. Because a zombie plague infected civility, now society itself is a lumbering zombie. Zombies being reanimated corpses. Yeah. Like the past. Older living things coming back to terrorize the present. The living. Yeah, man. So, like, it's like we're being haunted by our past. Like we're dwelling on our own past. Oh, yeah, man. This is getting too deep for me, man. Deep like that pile of zombies. Twitching mass of slowly wrecking limbs, squirming about a formless mass. And it's up to us to, like, break the chains to our own past. To break our need to live in the glory of a world that will never come back. Killing nostalgia. Living in the here and now. That's a weirdly optimistic view on all the carnage out there. Gotta find what glimmers of good we can in this bleak, bleak world. Bleak a leak. Tanisha. That was my wife's name. Random. Before she became a zombie. Oh, right. Zombie stories. Guess you're up now. It's funny. She always wore so much jewelry. I could hear her coming a mile away. Clink, clink, clink. Her slow-ass zombie walk all like clink, clink, clink. Must have been hard for you. Not really. Outran that bitch like lightning. It was easy. Wait, you didn't stop her? Nah. She's still out there. Right there. Oh. Huh. Does that one up ours, though? I mean, his was easy for him. She just follows me around like a lost puppy. 
A lost zombie puppy. She smells horrendous, though. Maybe that's what makes it difficult? Everything smells horrendous now. Well, we are surrounded by corpse flesh. Kind of a given. I'll give you a tale. Oh, hey, old man. Didn't even see you there. Shut your trap, you oyster snake goop. What? Gather round, you spineless wanker skinks. It was a dark, stormy night. I was at a strip joint. Strip joint? That's what I said, you limp stink spiker. I had to fight through legions of legged brawls with nothing but my trusty Remy Chester. Your what? Remy Chester? Remington or Winchester? Both. I modified it to have half of both. Shotgun's a two-handed weapon, son, and I can only take one, but I want both, so I modified it. Best of both worlds. Is that even possible? Nah, I killed hookers. Hey, another survivor! Pull up a chair! Survivor? It's not that hard of a job. No, of the zombie apocalypse. What zombie apocalypse? I just work here. How could you not know? Have you not looked around you? It's a post-apocalyptic wasteland! No, it's just a bad neighborhood. Really bad neighborhood. I mean, I live here, but even I know it's bad. Wait, what about the zombies? Everyone's on meth here. Literally. They might as well be dead, though. Lumbering around, spitting teeth out, and dribbling blood like they do. <laughs> Idiots. Well, yeah, I, I, I guess the neighborhood was always kind of bad. Huh. Holy cow. Hey, I forgot you were here. <laughs> so did I. Wait, so if none of these people are zombies, doesn't that mean that all the people we've killed, they weren't zombies? Uh, killed? I guess. We're killers. So, I, I guess we should change this? Yeah, serial killer support therapy. We we killed all those people! Oh god! Actually, I didn't kill anybody. My wife's just smelly and addicted to meth. Hear that, babe? You're not a zombie. Hooray! Uh, I'm gonna be sick. Can't have them turning into no zombie. Starts with them getting sick. Next you know he's a ripping and a roaring, spitting teeth and jitter jazzing all about. Ah, screw it. We came this far. We're murdering posse. Oh yeah! No job is worth this. Freaks, 